So I'd like to introduce our next speaker to you. Our next speaker is Alexa Harvey, who traveled all the way from Thunder Bay to be with us today. Alexa is a Master's of Science student in the Health Sciences program at Lakehead University. Her presentation is titled, Training the Socially Responsible Healthcare Provider. Alexis, over to you. Brian Sinclair was left to die in his wheelchair only 34 hours after being admitted to the emergency department, wrongfully assumed to be sleeping off an alcohol intoxication. Joyce Ashaquan was classified as a difficult patient and berated by medical staff, later being restrained and once again left alone to die a preventable death. What do both of these events have in common? Aside from what most news headlines point to immediately, indigenous people and death, both of these events were preventable and involved racism on behalf of the medical system and its providers. Now, when we think about changing these outcomes, there's lots of talk of continuing education and implementing anti-racism workshops in the workplace. But what if we could plant the seed before providers have an ability to make an impact in the system? What if the healthcare system could be infiltrated by socially responsible providers who recognize power dynamics and actively work to create safer care for their patients? This is what my research is looking at education. While literature on previous educational efforts exists, it lacks the context of student identities and perspectives, and it often focuses on certain pre-professional programs while leaving others to the wayside. From undergraduate medicine and nursing to practical nursing and paramedicine, my research seeks to understand how students in all of these areas feel their education is preparing them to work towards health equity as future healthcare providers. To do this, I interview students and I ask about their personal background as well as their experience within their program to see not only what the programs are giving students, but to see what students are in fact bringing to their programs. In addition, I ask these students to reflect on everything from instructor's identities to pedagogy style to clinical placements. And while some of these components may seem superfluous or outside of the learning journey of students, movements in education such as that of social accountability and social responsibility implicate all levels of the learning environment. From the institution at large to the instructors to the students, all components are to be working towards health equity. Essentially, these movements highlight that learning can be influenced by many different things, not just the curriculum in the classroom. So what can you take away from my study? There's a lot, trust me, but we'll focus on two things. So first, to ensure that we're bringing in socially responsible healthcare providers to our healthcare system, we need to begin to look at program evaluation in a more holistic manner that encompasses the student experience and the student identity. And secondly, we need to begin to look outside of the traditional programs that studies tend to focus on, such as undergraduate medicine, and start to look at all health professions education. Doing so ensures all healthcare providers are being taught how to work towards health equity. Thank you. 